Odysseus, a robotic lander built by Houston-based company Intuitive Machines, touched down near the lunar south pole. After a nail-biting descent and a tense silence from the lunar surface, the United States is back on the moon. It was a landmark moment for space exploration. No private spacecraft had ever soft-landed on the moon before, and an American vehicle hadn't hit the gray dirt softly since NASA's crewed Apollo 17 lander did so in December 1972. Intuitive Machines' Odysseus moon lander captured this photo from lunar orbit on February 21, 2024. Intuitive Machines' target was 186 miles shy of the South Pole, around 80 degrees latitude and closer to the pole than any other spacecraft has come. The site is relatively flat, but surrounded by boulders, hills, cliffs and craters that could hold frozen water, a big part of the allure. The lander was programmed to pick, in real time, the safest spot near the so-called Malapert A crater. Intuitive Machine's Odysseus lander has beamed back a series of snapshots that were captured as it headed out from the Earth toward the Moon, and one of the pictures features Australia front and center. The shots also show the second stage of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that launched the spacecraft, floating away as Odysseus pushed onward. The pictures were taken on February 16, the day of the launch. Intuitive Machine's entry is the latest in a series of landing attempts by countries and private outfits looking to explore the moon and, if possible, capitalize on it. Japan scored a lunar landing last month, joining earlier triumphs by Russia, US, China, and India.